Thank you everyone for joining me today. My name is Michael Smith. I'm the National Consumer Education Manager of Genome Canada. And yes, I'm coming to you live from the Genome Sewing and Learning Center from another uh, edition of Genome's Magical Machine Mystery Tour. So what will it be? Well, maybe you could tell by our fabulous clue on our Genome HQ Instagram page. But ooh, let's spin around here. Again, coming to you live from the Genome Sewing and Learning Center in Oakville for a magical machine mystery tour and i'm gonna make sure i'm not gonna knock over anything uh sandra went to vancouver oh beautiful oh and visited lots of quilt stores along the way that's excellent that's my kind of holiday <laughs> that's for sure so yes what will the fabulous machine be today oh the suspense i'm backing up here <laughs> And gonna try not to trip either. And as I pan over, ooh, you'll see a beautiful sunny day. Ooh, lots of goodies to show you on that table there. And our fabulous machine today is ta da! The fabulous Quilt Maker Pro 20. So, this is yet another machine in Janome's arsenal of quilting machines, long arm quilting machines, to help you get your quilting projects done faster and easier than ever. So look at this beautiful machine. I'll try to move slow, so again, not to make anyone sick with the camera work. <laughs> but yes, look at that beautiful machine in all of its glory. It, it, uh, don't you love the decals on it too? It's so cute. So yes, the fabulous Quiltmaker Pro 20, you know, um, Oh gosh, it was about three, four years ago, four years ago, I think it was, when the Quiltmaker Pro uh, 18 debuted. And then we had Quiltmaker Pro 16. And then earlier on the Genomi's Magical Machine Mystery Tour, I demoed the Quiltmaker Pro Versa, which is a stand up or sit down machine recessed into a table. And now another uh, quilting machine in the Genomi line is the Quiltmaker Pro 20. So we we will go through in all of its glory so you can see ooh, a little bit more about the machine again so you can get your quilting projects done faster and easier than ever now the great place to go to is our genomi.ca website and you type in you know, like quilt micro pro 20 and here is this features page where you'll see the machine and then all the uh, some of the features and benefits you know written down so then you can see a little bit more about the machine and in fact on our genomi.ca website we've got a model comparison so you can uh, compare between Quiltmaker Pro 18, Quiltmaker Pro 16, Quiltmaker Pro 20 and how they differ apart just from the size so that's all on our genomi.ca website now I wanted to point out the Quiltmaker Pro 20 comes on a 12 foot table, a 12 foot frame, but it comes in four uh, foot sections, three four foot sections, just like our Quiltmaker Pro 18. So you can totally customize. I currently have the table set up at eight feet. And I wanted to point out though, no matter how big your table is here, so if it's at eight feet or again, 12 feet, each section is supported with this center leg. And here you can see the optional casters, which are also available. Again, they don't come with the machine, but they are optional. So the table, no matter what size it is, is fully supported with this uh, the center legs. And again, casters are an optional accessory. The table is also adjustable in height. So uh, no matter what uh, size you are, <laughs> the table will accommodate. So here again, I have it set up to eight feet, but it ultimately comes as 12. So lots of room for your quilting. Now, as we go through, oops, I'm just going to back up here. As we go through the frame, I wanted to point out things like, oh, on the very bottom, perhaps you could see there is a backing bar or sorry, a batting bar right under here. So the batting bar is included, you know, in other long arm quilting systems, the batting bar is an additional accessory, but ours comes included here. And I've got a whole roll of batting on the bar. So no matter what size uh, quilts you can do, you can uh, put a whole roll of batting, uh, batting there, or you can just um, wind up a bunch of loose batting, but that way it's uh, off the floor and you know, the cat's not gonna play with it or anything like that. So that is great to have. And then yes, much like our Quiltmaker Pro 18, it's the same setup for the rollers. 
So we've got our quilt backing bar up here. So this is where your whole big quilt is going to accumulate. And again, especially with this big 20 inch throat space, we have lots of room. So no matter what size quilting project you have, you can definitely accommodate it with your Quiltmaker Pro 20. Uh, this is the idle bar, or some people call it the dead bar, because it just literally lays here. Uh, there's no leader attached to it. Uh, it just lays here, but it keeps your quilt surface nice and level. So it actually has a, an important function. Uh, so that's there. And then down here, this is such a cool configuration. And again, it's the same with our Quiltmaker Pro 20 in that this is the backing bar up here. The quilt top bar is in the lower position here. So that's very unusual. Most of the time, the quilt top bar is up here in the way. But this is wonderful. Not only it gives you a little bit more uh, tension on your quilt top, so everything stays nice and flat, but then this way, when I'm using rulers, any kind of free motion I'm doing, I don't have to worry about a bar being up here and being in the way. So I have a great unimpeded visible surface of my quilting area there. So I love having this configuration. Now, when you're going to load that quilt top bar that's in that lower position, we also have, oh, Cheryl's here. Hello. Oh, and Maul is here. Hello. I hope you're doing well, Maul. Uh, up here in this cradle is where you can put your bar. They easily unsnap. Again, no tools required. They just unsnap and uh, out of position. And then you can put your bar up here in this cradle. So it's a little more ergonomically friendly to load your quilt top. And once you're all done that, it just simply clicks back. I mean, there I did it one handed. How easy is that? Like amazing. Oh, Gordon Madeline, it's great to see you. Hello. Oh, Cheryl says it's sunny in Saskatoon. Oh, lovely. It's beautiful and sunny here. That is great. Fall is definitely in the air. So yes, with our frame for our Quiltmaker Pro 20, we've got just like our Quiltmaker Pro 18, we've got the little bungee clamps here. So that will help you attach it to your quilt backing. So that will keep it nice and taut. So we've got uh, two on each side. Now, when I go to load my quilts, I always like a nice big backing, extra backing, because then I put extra batting off to the side. This red is my quilt top. So you can see I like to uh, use a lot of extra batting and backing. By having that extra uh, batting and backing, then this way I can put a little scrap of fabric off to the side, and then I can do my test stitching. Then when I want to test my tensions, I can easily fold back this fabric and then I can see what my stitches look like from the backside. So I don't have to go crawling under the, the quilt frame. So that definitely makes it easy. Uh, you are connected. Oh, excellent. Thank you, computer grandma. Thank you for letting me know. That is wonderful. Uh, if ever anybody has any issues uh, then you can close out of Instagram entirely and then go back into it. So maybe that's where the, the connection issues were. Uh, I never know uh, what's happening here internet wise, but uh, we're just going to persevere. <laughs> so that's great. Uh, so yes, that's an easy way to check your attentions though. So then as we come along here, then I want to, oh yes show you. Now, oh, I might as well do this since I'm here again. I tend to jump all over the place because there's so much I want to talk about. Uh, but yes, with our fabulous uh, Quiltmaker Pro and uh, any of our long arms, if you need an additional lighting, this fabulous lightsaber looking light is our daylight floor lamp. It's the slim line. So this is great to use at any of your machines. But again, as your long arm quilting machine, if you need a little bit of extra light, over more of your quilting area, then again, we've got like the daylight lamps from your Janome dealer, for example. It's got the great gooseneck, so you can get it right down over your project when you're doing all that micro stippling or when you're stitching around applique. So these are always great to have just to give you a little bit more light on the subject. But you'll see when I turn on the machine itself, I wanted to wait for you all to turn on the machine and you will see the amount of lighting that just washes down over the quilting area. It really is fantastic. Ooh, so let me do this. And normally, you know, I have the machine turned on already, but I wanted to show you, look at all of that. Like, oh my gosh. And especially I wanted to show everybody the little graphics that come up on the screen. Don't you love that Janome logo? So that's fabulous. 
And then there, Quiltmaker Pro 20 with the little needle, the cute little music. Like, isn't that adorable? Isn't that a great way to start quilting? You know, you're so excited and start uh, this project. You know, you've got lots of UFOs. Maybe you're like me that way. <laughs> you've got lots of UFOs. You just want to get them done. So now with your fabulous Quiltmaker Pro 20, oh, you can get them done so uh, fast. So here are a beautiful LCD screen. We've got all of our touch controls there or with the handlebars. Now, the cool thing about these handlebars, look at this. You just simply unscrew that, loosen it up, and these handlebars, so when you're doing your little tight micro stippling around your applique, you can adjust your handlebars to a more comfortable position. Or again, maybe it's more comfortable if they're way up here. So this way you can totally customize whatever is easiest for you, again, whatever height you are. Or, you know, sometimes if I've been quilting free motion wise, uh, quite a lot, then I will adjust my handlebars and that just um, reduces some of the fatigue on my hands over time. So it's a great feature to have. So as we come around here, I just want to show you all as optional accessories with your Quiltmaker Pro 20. Ooh, then we have the rear handlebars and the LCD screen, the same that are on the front, but with your Quiltmaker Pro 20, this is an additional purchase. It's an add-on if you want rear handlebars. Um, not everyone uh, likes having the rear handlebars because not everybody does the pantographs at the back of the machine. Uh, so if you would like to do paper pantographs from the back, then you can get these um, extra handlebars and then they also come with a laser light here that you can position and then you can follow the paper pantograph that you put on the table. So it's a great way to, again, get your quilts done so fast and easy, just following that paper pantograph makes it so simple. So that's an additional accessory if you so choose, because again, not everybody's into paper pantographs. Um, so if not, then you're just gonna be doing your free motion quilting at the front. Uh, oh, I hope I'm still connected. Mal says I'm not connected. Hopefully I am, so I'm just going to continue. So with our Quiltmaker Pro 20, as I was saying, ooh, we've got all of our touchscreen controls available. So when we can, oh, could somebody give me a thumbs up if I'm still connected? That would be wonderful. Uh, so with our touchscreen here, we've got lots of controls. We have the uh, stitch regulated mode, for example. So we are at uh, 2,500 stitches per minute. So how cool is that? So in our stitch regulated mode, I'm just gonna do needle up down so then I can bring my bobbin thread ooh, up to the top. And then at 2,500, oh good, I am connected. Oh, thank goodness. Oh, I keep losing connection and have to sign off and on again. Oh, possibly maybe it's our internet connection here might not be so great, but oh, Cindy, hello. It's great to see you. Uh, but again, I'm just going to persevere. The good thing is we can always go back to IGTV to watch this later, and then I will uh, then load it to the um, YouTube channel, the Genome HQ YouTube. Uh, so yes, once I do my uh, needle up and down and then away we go. So, oops, I'm going to go away we go. So at 2,500 stitches per minute in stitch regulated mode, no matter how fast or how slow we go, those stitches are always going to look beautiful. So, Ooh, look at that. So there's just my little bit of test stitching there. But again, look at all that beautiful lighting. Because even though I've got overhead lighting here in, in this room, it's, you know, it's such a big room. So I don't have a lot of, you know, focused task lighting. So that's why it's wonderful having all this lighting on the Quiltmaker Pro 20 just washes down over your project. So again, you can see all that beautiful stitching. There is some stitching I did previously. Look at all that gorgeous stitching there and again no matter how fast and how slow i go 
that, oh, in Maryland, oh, that's fabulous. Uh, no matter how fast or how slow I go, the stitches are always going to be consistent in stitch regulated mode. Uh, you might even be seeing on the screen, it looks like it's flashing, there's a little laser light that is included. This is a, a difference between Quiltmaker Pro 18 and Quiltmaker Pro 20. Uh, Quiltmaker Pro 20 has this laser light that is focused down on the fabric so you know exactly where your needle is going to land because of that laser light. So that's very cool. Uh, when I mentioned about stitch length, for example, we can adjust it here. I've got it now at 10 stitches per inch. I can adjust it here on the screen, or we do have the handlebar controls. I've got, you know, plus on the other side. I've got minus here. Uh, there's my needle up and down. But, you know, these buttons here, this little star, and then this little uh, diamond here, uh, these allow you to configure what these buttons you would like them to do. So right now this is needle, or this is my um, up button to control my uh, stitch length, for example, but maybe you want to switch that to uh, the minus button or your needle up down button so you can configure what your handlebars do. So that's very cool. Uh, but there, so that's my stitches per inch and then I'm in regulated mode. Now we can go in manual mode, and now you become the stitch regulator. So then this is where, just like with free motion quilting for your domestic machine, the speed in which you move your hands and the speed of the motor will dictate the length of your stitch. So now you can hear the machine is running at a consistent speed, no matter how fast or how slow I move my hands, but how fast and how slow I move my hands dictates how big my stitches may look. So it's important to get to that comfortable level where we call the, the sweet spot. But the cool thing is, if you think, oh no, that's too fast for me, I'm too afraid, you can use, again, the plus or minus buttons on your handlebars, or you can reduce the speed here of your motor. So if the motor is going a little too fast for you, then you can slow it down. But I find in general that the faster your machine runs and the slower you move your hands, the more consistent your stitches will look but it's a very fun to go and play you'll just go around ooh, there <laughs> you'll just go around and play and then i've got some beautiful multicolor madeira arrow quilt thread i love using it on the long arm quilting machine again available from your genome dealer this is the variegated so look at how beautiful that is it totally adds a new element to your quilts uh, but that it's so much fun to just experiment. So even in manual mode, I think, hmm, that doesn't look too bad. <laughs> so there's a lot of fun you can do. Now, back in stitch regulated mode, we've got the precision mode. So that means as soon as we stop stitching, we stop moving the machine, the needle is going to stop exactly where it is. Whereas if I have it in the cruise mode, again, we can adjust this motor speed so that is, I often say it's like idling your car. The motor is running, but I'm not moving the machine. So I like using the cruise mode when I'm doing the paper pantographs at the back of the machine and I'm doing a lot of, you know, uh, or even, you know, in free motion. If I'm doing a lot of uh, curvy lines like a vine or a flower, by having it in the cruise mode, you just drop that little bit of extra stitch right in the corner before you go off and go to another area. So it just makes sure that there's no skip stitches, there's no rounded corners, especially if you're a really fast quilter. By having it in that cruise mode, you know your machine is always cycling, it's always stitching. So there's a, a reason and a purpose behind each of those modes of stitching. Uh, the precision mode, for example, is what I like using when I'm doing ruler quilting. And if I'm using any of my fabulous, ooh, so comfortable, so comfortable long arm quilting rulers. I was so thrilled when Janome came out with these. I had been asking for years. Janome Ditch Quilter. There are so many of them though. Uh, again, check with your Janome dealer. They're nice quarter of an inch thick. So we can use them on the long arm quilting machines. And again, by using that precision mode, that means that you are going to stop stitching 
and then you can adjust your ruler and you know the needle is going to stop uh, when you want it to stop. So by having that precision mode, the needle is going to stop exactly where you want it. Then you can safely move your ruler. Uh, so it works out really well that way. So again, each of those modes has a different purpose. Uh, so another unique feature here on the Quiltmaker Pro 20, this big dial here, we can adjust our needle simply by turning this. Isn't that cool? We don't have to walk around to the back of the machine to the flywheel, or we don't have to use, you know, the buttons here. We can instead use this to uh, rotate our needle. So isn't that amazing? Again, something totally unique to the Quiltmaker Pro 20. And then we've got, oh, lots of diagnostics here uh, when we've got our lighting control again our main light that's in the bed of the machine i just switched it off what a difference that makes that ring light again what a difference that makes or all the lights there so it's really amazing now sometimes all this lighting is wonderful but if you're trying to quilt black fabric with black uh, thread for example maybe ooh, turning off that ring light may help you uh, see a little bit more easily so again you've totally got options there uh, we've got lots of diagnostics um, in the uh, touch screen here. Uh, we can set, oh, we've got like a calculator, for example, and then we've got timer. So you can set, you know, if you've got 10 minutes to quilt, you can set 10 minutes to quilt. Or if you're quilting a project and you want to know how long it's taking you, we've got a built-in uh, timer. So then you can say, oh, it took me two hours to quilt that quilt, for example. Oh, all for craft. Hello. Great to have you here. So again, uh, lots of built-in tools already on your um, a big LCD screen and here we've got oh configure tie offs for example so if I want to create a little tie off at the beginning and the end of my stitching again here is where I can program right now I've got it set to six but I can set it down to like two or I can set it all the way up I think it goes all the way up to, yeah to 10 so again we can totally customize it that way if we so choose or if we don't want to use the tie-offs at all we could even just set it to zero and simply not use it so isn't that fabulous and then information that we have information about the machine uh, a needle and thread chart, for example, that's built into the machine. So when you're wondering, oh, what kind of thread and what kind of needle are you going to use? We've got some suggestions here built into the machine. Uh, if you have some questions about threading, there's, uh, again, all instructions in the manual, but then you can look through. Here are some pictures built in right on the screen, much like on our top of the line uh, Janome sewing machines. We have these little videos built in. So now we have them here on the Quiltmaker Pro 20. So isn't that cool? And then the information as far as the stitch count of the machine and how many hours the machine has been on, what version it is, all of that kind of stuff is built in here as well. So you've got all of this within your fingertips. So isn't that cool? Now, when I talked about ooh, the uh, thread charts and some uh, ooh, ideas about what needle to use with what thread, we have this cool little accessory, the uh, Quiltmaker Pro Thread Tension Journal. So then we have some little tips and tricks included with it here. And then you can write down your what you've used, your batting, your backing, your fabric, what thread, what needle, all of that you can record here in your little journal. And then you can keep it at the side of your machine. It even has some Velcro on the back. So you could keep that at your machine. So you've got all that information. So you don't have to keep guessing all the time. Oh, what needle did I use or what thread did I use uh, on that quilt? Uh, you can record it there. Now, when I talked about um, oh, using your rulers, for example, ooh, let's spin over here to this beautiful table because again, oh, there's so many accessories available. So there is your rear handlebar kit accessory with the laser light that's included, but also what you can get is the ruler base for the Quiltmaker Pro 20 is a nice big, ooh, hard acrylic base that gives you an extra, it's about 12 inches of quilting space to safely use all your so comfortable rulers so it gives you more of a platform uh, to safely support your rulers. And in the so comfortable line, oh gosh, we've got 
oh, all these like multi clamshells and we've got ovals and we've got little squigglies there. I mean, there's so many wave templates. There's so many available. So again, double check with your Janome dealer. And then yes, we've got the dedicated easy ruler foot for the Quiltmaker Pro. Now the cool thing about all these Quiltmaker Pro machines, they all take the same feet. So this easy ruler foot is going to work on your Quiltmaker Pro 18, your Quiltmaker Pro 16, and your Quiltmaker Pro 20, and your Quiltmaker Pro Versa. So isn't that cool? Now you'll see that higher profile of that ruler foot is a quarter of an inch. And again, it's got little divots in the front so you can see where your needle is. So this easy ruler foot is available again from your Janome dealer and you would use it with your ruler base when you want to safely use rulers of all kind of shapes and configurations here from the so comfortable line. So that way again ruler quilting is a great way to get all of your quilts done uh, in addition to free motion. And of course we've got oh some extra feet like these echo feet. Now I've demonstrated a lot of these extra feet on the other uh, Quiltmaker Pro 18 and Quiltmaker Pro 16, Janome Magical Machine Mystery Tours, and, and Quiltmaker Pro Versa as well. I demonstrated more of these feet, so you can go back and review those uh, presentations there. Now also, ooh, look at this. I love this. Is a great accessory that this clips over. Ooh, do you see with those clips? This clips over your rollers. So no matter what long arm you have, there's room for, oh yes, your Madeira Aerolock thread there. And then your, oh, Janome sewing machine oil that you're going to oil your machine with, all your extra little snips and uh, pins and everything. So this tray will clip over your rollers. So isn't that cool? But I also wanted to show you that you get uh, four extra bobbins with your, or five extra bobbins with your Quiltmaker Pro 20. And even this uh, bobbin holder that we have for our domestic bobbins, because it is plastic, you know, I can put these Quiltmaker Pro 20, or these are the same bobbins that go in the Quiltmaker Pro 18, Quiltmaker Pro 16, Quiltmaker Pro Versa. So again, I can even use this bobbin holder with these larger bobbins because of that plastic, it just molds around it. So you'll get less bobbins in this bobbin holder with these bigger bobbins, but it will work as well for your long arm bobbins. So that's very cool. So yes, oh, that tray is so fabulous. In fact, let me just move it here. Because when I saw this, of course, I said, I have to have one because this way you don't have to worry about having like tables nearby and where is my scissors? Where is my, you know, where are my, my oil, you know, to thread my machine, everything. It just, again, clips over the rollers there and it's right at your fingertips. So it's a fabulous tray. Now, speaking of right at your fingertips, oh yes, just like our Quiltmaker Pro 18, everybody loved those side magnets. So we have them here on the Quiltmaker Pro 20. So here I've got my little mini duckling scissors that I love so much to trim off my threads, you know, my little screwdriver that comes included to adjust the bobbin case tension, uh, your little Allen key that's going to reduce or that's going to take off your uh, presser foot here. So it's great to keep everything at hand. And then, oh, on the other side, again, for all your pins, if you're, you know, pinning your uh, fabric to your leaders and everything, they can go on the magnets there. So it keeps everything up out of the way. It keeps all the tools and the scissors uh, off of your surface here. So it's definitely very beneficial to have. Uh, you'll see on my little sample that I did earlier, ooh, some couching. And yes, we can do some couching on the Quiltmaker Pro 20. And actually all of our Quiltmaker machines can use the couching feet that come included here and then this is what the couching foot there's basically uh, little plastic discs in the middle with a hole in the middle for the yarn so the yarn is kept directly under the needle so this way we can do our couching with uh, a straight stitch in the Quiltmaker Pro 20, or again, all of our Janome long arms can do that couching. So it's very, very fun. There's so many fun things that you can do with your fabulous Quiltmaker Pro 20. 
So yes, uh, again, when we talk about throat space, yes, many of our genome machines, you know, we've got the horizon line with the uh, 11 inches of throat space, and then we've got the fabulous Continental M7 with the 13.5 inches of throat space. But here on the fabulous Genome Equipment Maker Pro 20, we've got 20 inches from the needle all the way back here. And it's about, ooh, I think it's about nine and a half, ten 10 inches tall. So again, lots of room for your quilt. So no matter what size, the Quilt Maker Pro 20 will accommodate. So again, oh, the time goes by so fast. So there in a whirlwind, oh, there is your beautiful Janome Quiltmaker Pro 20. And let's flip this around. There we go. So I'm sorry everybody had some uh, connection issues. I hope it's uh, going to be okay when I go back to review this uh, later. But again, if there was any uh, trouble for the live, the good thing is we can always go back to the IGTV icon on the Genome HQ Instagram page to review the presentation there. Or then usually in a day or two, I load these as a uh, video on the Genome HQ YouTube channel. The only thing though with YouTube is the presentation is tall and skinny because uh, YouTube doesn't let me or Instagram doesn't let me rotate the the camera so that's why it has to stay tall and skinny which for Instagram is fine but when you're watching it on YouTube again it's it's tall and skinny but there's nothing I can do at least I wanted to uh, show it on the Genome HQ YouTube channel because not everybody has Instagram so at least that way we can share of more of the Genome love so thank you everyone for joining me today again from the Ooh, if I turn around, it'll be backwards, but there, from the Genome Sewing and Learning Center. So thank you so much for joining me today, and I will see you all next week for another Genome's Magical Machine Mystery Tour. Again, what will it be? Oh, I don't know. It's a mystery, so we must tune in. So thank you so much, everybody. Have a fabulous day. Bye. <laughs>